Follow is so back, baby. I want to say thank you to Jazzwares for sending over the latest offerings of the Jazzwares Vault. I think you already know what's inside of this. We have some new World of Halo offerings, Micro Galaxy Squadron, and a bunch of other fun surprises. So let's unbox this baby and go over all the details. We have one, two, three, four, five, six different boxes. So I'm going to save the World of Halo and the Micro Galaxy Squadron for last. We're going to go over the other few items. We have some Fortnite AEW and I think one other figure. And inside was a little postcard that says Jazzwares Vault. And I love these handwritten notes. Prepare for a new drop from the Jazzwares Vault. And here is a QR code to lead you to that Jazzwares Vault. All right, let us begin. Reminder, the Jazzwares Vault, these new offerings happen Wednesday, April 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard time so it seems like Wednesday's the standard release dates for all these I'm not sure if this is gonna be a monthly thing I mean if it is that is amazing so our first figure on deck is Brian Danielson which I actually know this wrestler you gotta love this like triple packaging which is crazy so a vault exclusive this is one out of 5,000 okay which makes sense because he's a pretty popular wrestler I mean I even know him considering I'm not the hugest wrestling fan so we have a nice a little slip cover. We have an interchangeable head. We have some nice soft goods as the robe. We have a mic, two interchangeable hands, which looks like fists. I absolutely love the packaging to this. It came minty clean and has a matte finish throughout and the logoing is more of a glossy feel. You can see it says series one right there. Here's about a look at his head sculpts. I do like that they went with two different variants for his interchangeable heads. We have one with the hair and facial hair and then one of his very early years, you know, shaved head. And there is a nice glam shot at that vault sticker, one out of 5,000. Being a wrestler that I actually really know, I think overall this is a great looking figure. If you're really into Brian, then you're gonna wanna add this to your collection. I'm just really loving that illustration right there. I mean, that just looks so iconic. And you can pick this up on the 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, next up, we have a slightly longer but skinnier box. And inside of that, we have some Fortnite, baby. I believe these are the fish stick characters. Yeah, these are actually pretty cool. So I never played a whole lot of Fortnite, but I do know this character. I think it's almost just as iconic as Peely. So this is cool. It actually looks like a, you know, um, what's that, Long John Silvers? <laughs> like, a, like a fish stick box. That's actually really cool. It even has nutritional facts on the back. What? That's awesome. Four outfits per container <laughs> outfit size. These are four inch figures. Squad serving suggestions. That's hilarious. Whoever did this packaging needs a raise big time. So it is a slip cover. Opens just like so. Beautiful representation. Man, I can't get over how awesome this presentation is. This is, this is actually really cool. Even the details to the figures, you can see there's scales throughout. Really well done. So it does come with a handful of accessories. So we have the dorsal destroyer, which is this like little fish guy with a uh, scuba gear on. We have frozen love wings. Ice Cube, and it has a little frozen penguin in there with a rope attached to it, and the original puff -a pack If you are a fan of Fortnite, you're gonna wanna pick this up. This is actually really cool, really well done. The ARs even have like their own little skins, which is really cool, and I know that's super popular in the game to have like shiny and vibrant like AR skins, so that is really cool. I've heard nothing but good things about the Fortnite figures, especially as far as quality goes. So these are great. Overall, this is a huge win. Everything down from the packaging to the figures itself. All right, next up, we have an even bigger box. And I, this is the one that I don't know what is in here just yet. Oh, okay, another Ring of Honor. So we have some wrestling. This is cool. This is a two pack. And I think this is the vault's first wrestling two pack. Not only the first two pack, but it is the first one out of 4,000. The illustration at the front looks great. Pretty traditional. It has like a more etched, you know, pencil type of look. Have another one on the side of the packaging and then another beautiful one at the back. This one's a little bit more faded. So this should be another slip cover. Opens just like so. Whoa, wow. Dang, there's actually a lot going on with this figure. This is, this is more than I expected. They even have like glitter, like, like a sheen all throughout. And I love like this like little frills right here that come off the side and this looks like like almost like a pleather soft good there. So these are called the Young Bucks. We have soft goods for each Jackson killing the business, the Young Bucks with an illustration of them there. Now I don't have a lot of wrestling figures, but I have enough to know that they did a good job here. The ones that I do have is mostly Macho Man. He's my favorite wrestler. And so a lot of the Macho Mans that I do have, he has soft goods like tank tops and then like pleather goods that have like frills on it. So, so they definitely crushed it with this. As far as like Goes. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know these wrestlers too much So you bigger fans out there will be the ones to tell me how spot-on they look But just based on what I'm seeing from the packaging and what I'm holding here. I think they did a pretty solid job at last
last, we have our very first World of Halo item. This is going to be our Halo 4 Master Chief. Notice this is also really well packaged. We have those little quarter bumpers there with a nice outer box of Master Chief on the front and also the back. Man, I am so excited about this. Halo is back, baby. And based off the images that I saw, the packaging to this looks phenomenal. And there he is. Beautiful close-up illustration of Chief. These are actual product photos, which are great. We have a vault sticker that says limited edition. I do believe this is supposed to be one out of 1,500 though. The entire box has a matte look to it. And then just the illustration itself is glossy, very attractive, very sleek. It is an open window packaging. We have some Velcro little tabs to keep it closed. Once we open it, we reveal our Halo 4 Chief. The last Chief that we actually need for this line. We have another vault sticker there says limited edition. He does have that beast of a rifle, the light rifle. Man, his details look great. All that like little raised texture areas to his gel layer. Oh, beautiful piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a separate video of this chief. Unbox, review, and I'm going to show every other World of Halo chief that has been released so far. We're going to go over this figure in depth, compare it, look forward to that right after this video, but definitely before the Jazzwares vault actually launches. But I will give you one more close up of him before we say goodbye until the next video. Standout features to this, you can see there's some good contrast between the greens on the armor. Rifle looks great. Paint applications look fantastic. There's no bleed or anything like that. He has a base plate right behind him. And then finally, we have another beautiful illustration of Chief at the cover. All right, next up, we have Micro Galaxy Squadron. At least that's what it should be within this box. It is massive. Yep. Oh, man. I love how much they pack this thing in. The outer box looks amazing. We have a Jedi Interceptor there. Now, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. This is by far some of the most beautiful packaging I have ever seen, and it is definitely the best modern-day packaging that is out there to date. This is our Series 3 Light Armor Class 1 out of 1,500. At the bottom front, we have some Arabish. More of that beautiful holographic look to it. Now, this is a series that I didn't see too much of. I mean, I saw the Interceptors for sure. Like as as far as chase vehicles go, no, I had no chance. I had no shot finding these. And just look at that presentation. We have like a comic book style illustration throughout. We have the Battle of Coruscant right here at the top. Front and center, we have the Millennium Falcon with some First Order TIE Fighters. Looks like we have Ala Secura's Interceptor there. Some scattered vulture droids throughout. Just such a beautiful piece. I got to give you another look of it opening from the top. Man, look how beautiful that is. I don't know exactly how I'm going to display this just yet because I want to display it as a whole. What I'm probably going to have to do is clear out another shelf. Or when I get my other cabinets in over there, I'll have to set it up that way. And just look at all that beautiful detail. I'm still a little curious having a First Order TIE Fighter jumbled in with a bunch of these prequel ships. It would have been cool to have maybe like a Vulture Droid here instead. But maybe they just had to like break it up a bit. Who knows? Now, I love the way these are packed in here. Here is a better look at the chase vehicles. Ala Secura's one out of 5,000. Plo Clunes, one out of 15,000. I'm so happy that they're doing this because you have people that are scalping them online for man two three hundred dollars and that will totally cut down the cost and allow true collectors true fans to get these in their actual collection but it doesn't stop there so you could actually take out this insert here which we will do try to do this with one hand we could take this baby out now all the ships are individually placed here as if you were to find them on the shelf so if you didn't necessarily want to display them in the box like this or maybe if you didn't have enough room you can take them all out and display them how you like for those wondering very minty card there is no veins creases or anything like that beautifully done beautifully packaged one out of five thousand i mean this is what you should be able to expect when you get an exclusive like this jazz was absolutely crushed it you will look at plo clunes one out of fifteen thousand i am surprised i never saw this i mean i do pretty well finding the one out of fifteen thousands but this one eluded me a big a time here is a close-up at plo clune and r7 d4 love 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 this again minty packaging no creases bends or anything like that looks phenomenal 
We have our first order TIE Fighter. This is one I actually have, but I didn't actually put it up on the channel. These always just display so well. So it's cool to have another inbox one. You can see behind the packaging, we have an illustration of the Millennium Falcon with some first order TIE Fighters, kind of like what we saw within The Force Awakens. And now our last two vehicles, we have Anakin and Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptors. So these babies, I actually did review on the channel, so they are there. Ended up getting them from Amazon. It was like a blind box bundle, and you can get one of these. So check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Great ships. I mean, they're iconic. Revenge of the Sith. If you don't have these two ships, then this entire set is definitely a no-brainer, and you want to jump on this big time. I probably wouldn't have noticed this, but since I took that insert out, we have little Plo Kloon down there. Look at that. It's kind of a shame that he's hiding down there. I would have liked to have seen him maybe up here somewhere. Now, if you have the other interceptors, it's going to be basically the exact same thing, just color differences, to be honest. Of course, the big draw to this set is going to be Ayla herself and her droid R4G9, which that's great because, you know, we'll probably never, ever, ever get her again. I, of course, will not be opening up this set, especially since it's one out of 5,000. It comes in a beautiful box set. It's just got to be displayed sealed. Here is the back of the packaging, pretty traditional to Micro Galaxy Squadron. And I'm going to show you the barcode, just in case you never know when you might need it. Of course, we'll take a look at Plo Kloon's Jedi Starfighter. I do feel like we might be able to get him again in maybe like a Bark Speeder or something like that. Like the rest of the Starfighters, it is just a reprint with his iconic paint decos. He's a great looking figure, the sculpt to him looks awesome. There's no bleed to his paint applications, and he also comes with R7-D4. And of course, here is the barcode, as you never know when you might need this. This is actually a phenomenal set, a must-have in my opinion. I was actually planning on buying this too. Even though I did have these three bottom ships here, the fact you're getting the chase ships and this beautiful presentation alone is going to be worth the price. And let's face it, I mean, this is a collector's item. In 10 years or so, when this line is done, I feel like these are going to be very sought-after items. So don't miss out and regret it later. And now, our final piece, the World of Halo Thanks. Big Shot Battle Pack. I will actually be unboxing this one. I'm going to show you the exclusive Arbiter Active Camo figure. If I could get this out of here... <laughs> But I'm actually going to unbox this one. I'm going to go over all the different details. Look at this pack, baby. We have some Series 5 World of Halo, some Series 6 World of Halo, and then that exclusive Arby. All right, Halo fans, this is what we've been waiting for so long, so patiently. It is finally here. We have some Series 5 World of Halo. This is a vault exclusive called the Big Shot Battle Pack. Back of the packaging shows us all six figures that are included. We have our Series 3 to the left, our exclusive Arbiter in the center, and then our Series 6 to the right. The appearance of the packaging is pretty traditional with what we've seen with the rest of this World of Halo. This is, in fact, the biggest set we've ever received from the World of Halo. We have that beautiful vault sticker there at the bottom right-hand corner. So we do have some heavy hitters in this pack. I have reviewed every single figure in this set with the exception of Active Camel Arby. So that will be the figure I will put most of the focus on. Still going to show you the rest of the figures, but if you want a more in-depth look at the rest of these in the packaging, check out my other videos because they're great figures. This is our third Arbiter in the world of Halo. We received our first one, which was a GameStop exclusive. It was the Halo 3 Warthog run. Then in Series 5, we received our Halo 2 Arbiter. Unfortunately, that is the only figure I am missing from the entire World of Halo line. I managed to track down every other figure, but that is the one that has eluded me. So hopefully we get to see him make an appearance on the vault soon. This is our second active camo figure within this line. We first received our Halo Infinite Master Chief within Series 1. And say what you will about active camo figures. They're clear, plastic, transparent, whatever. But a Halo line would not be complete without having some active camel characters just having these two side by side you see there is some huge differences between the active camo master chief has more of like a lighter like cloud blue look to him and the arbiter has like more of a muted darker kind of tealish blue not sure which one i like better but either way they still get the point across as far as sculpting goes, this is basically a recolor from our Halo 3 Arbiter. This was the GameStop exclusive one. Here I'll give you a better close-up of the sculpting to the face so you can see exactly what is going on. It is a little harder to tell from further away, but all those little details are there throughout. All that little intricate armor is nice and camouflaged. This is our first appearance of an active camo energy sword, and that looks awesome. Love to have pieces like this because, as it stands right now, the only way you can get this is through this set. Of course, we gotta give that energy sword to Master Chief. He can hold it 
no problem, and that looks freaking awesome. That is one thing I love about the world of Halo is just how adaptable it is. The posability is so great, and you can just interchange pieces, no problem. If you are familiar with the world of Halo and Arbiter in general, then you know that this figure has some pretty good articulation, but we'll still briefly go over it anyways. So here at the head, we have some movement going upwards and downwards. We could also spin it all the way around. This area is probably the most limited. I do think Series 5 Arbiter has slightly more articulation. I, I could be wrong, just based from photos, I think that is the case. At the left shoulder, we can bring the arm up about that high, and then we can get about the same distance from the right shoulder as well. Even though this like pauldron is kind of in the way, it doesn't actually hinder the movement here. It is attached to the upper part of his chest plate that goes all the way to the back. At the arms, we have a hinge and a swivel. I can extend it all the way down, and I can even hyperextend just a little bit backwards. Joints here feel nice and stiff, so I could take this arm and I can flex it about a good 90 degrees. And then because I have that swivel, I can rotate it all the way around. Moving on down to the wrists, we have the same type of treatment here. Lots of range of motion. I can flex it upwards and downwards, and then I can rotate that baby around. Here at the torso, I have two joints. So I have a little bit of a swivel here. So if you grip it just right, you should be able to spin from side to side. But the greatest area of motion is going to be here at the upper part. So this is actually a ball joint. That's what's going to be able to give him the most movement all the way around. Joints to him feel nice and snug. Nothing feels overly loose whatsoever. Here at the hips, we have a ball joint. So we can bring those legs inwards and outward. We can flare them around. Even spin this baby all the way around. And then below that, we have quite a bit of joints. So we have hinge, swivel, hinge, swivel, and then another hinge and swivel here at the at the feet. So I guess at the, his first knee, we can bend it backwards. He gets a great amount of movement there. Always impressed by the amount of range of motion, flexing it forward. That's about as far forward as he can get. But since he has kind of like a backwards knee at the next joint down, that's where we can get more of that movement forward. If I just were to flex this one backwards, it can go back about eh, that far or so. And then each of these joints swivels independently. Lastly, moving on down to the foot, same treatment, flex it forwards and backwards. And then I can spin this foot all the way around. Overall, looks great, pretty traditional with our other Arbiter figure. I'm very grateful we're able to get another shot at Series 5, even if it means getting a few extra figures from Series 6. I think the community as a whole would rather have this than not have it at all. So if you want to get a more in-depth look about these, I have reviewed every single one of them on the channel. I have a playlist that is entitled Halo, and you can find all of those there. But come April 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we can make our voices heard and let them know that we want more Halo and that Halo is back. As it stands right now, this might be your one and only shot to be able to add the ODST to your collection. This is by far one of the best figures that they have done within the world of Halo. So you're definitely not going to want to miss out on this baby. All right, friends, that was quite a video. I want to say thank you again to Jazzwares for sending over the latest offerings of the Jazzwares Vault items. Remember, all this stuff goes live Wednesday, April 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There's a lot of variety with these drops, so if you're into AEW, Fortnite, Halo, or Micro Galaxy Squadron, there's definitely something here for you. I love the passion in protecting these collectibles. So they like triple box them and then they put those little bumper corners at the edge to make sure it arrives to you nice and mint. I've never seen any other toy company do that before and that is definitely top notch. It is still very early in the Jazzers Vault game so this is their second drop within two months. Not sure if this is gonna be a monthly type of thing. If it is, then there's a lot in store, that is for sure. These drops are going to be limited across the entire board. So if there's something that you want, I would jump on it right away. I am the type of collector where I would rather get it now at retail rather than wait months or years, it's out of stock, and then it's like four times the amount on the aftermarkets. Collect smart, get it at retail, and don't overpay. These kind of offerings are right up my alley. I love exclusive items, obscure things, toys you can only get from certain retailers, one-off pieces, all that kind of stuff is my jam. I do love what they're doing with Micro Galaxy Squadron, even though I do have three out of the five ships that are included in this box set. The mere fact of I could check these chase and rare pieces off the list, I don't have to go through the aftermarkets, I don't have to waste gas, going to stores hoping that they even have any of them in stock. And on top of all of that, it comes in such a beautiful display box. When it comes to the World of Halo Big Shot Battle Pack, I am so 
happy that Halo is back. I've seen your comments on my YouTube videos. I've seen all the feedback within the Facebook groups. So I'm happy that people's wishes are being fulfilled. I know that majority of us would have liked to have seen the entire set be Series 5 World of Halo, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. We're getting some heavy hitters in that pack and that exclusive Arbiter. Don't sleep on these sets. It's time to let them know that we're here and we're ready for some more Halo. But that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this massive Jazzverse Vault Hall and the unboxing and review of the Big Shot Battle Pack Active Camel Arbiter. I want to say thank you again to Jazzwurst for sending over their second offering of the vault items. All of these will be available on April 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you did enjoy this massive haul, unboxing, and review, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel and it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. If you want to see more toy content, be sure to connect with me on Instagram and TikTok to stay up to date when new things drop like these vault items. I also post toy photography and toy videos. Until then, collectors, I will see y'all in this next video.